Local lawyer Bobby Hortzberg is no stranger to working on and running local campaigns for New Orleans-based candidates. So this report by the legislative auditor comes as no surprise to him. I've always thought that things were run very loose uh, in the clerk's office. And it appears state auditors feel the same way. This report says Arthur Morell spent almost $80,000 in public funds on meals, gifts, celebrations, and nonprofit donations, which was not how the money was intended to be used. It also says he put $7,000 on a credit card, all of which was personal. All are potential violations of state law, the report says. Once you do things a certain way for a certain period of time, you just feel like you can get away with it. You know, this is how this is how I've always done it. You know, I've always run the office this way. I've always done things this way, and nothing's ever happened before. And so, you know, I imagine he got the sense that he could get away with it, or that it wasn't that important. The audit also says Morrell played fast and loose with hundreds of thousands of dollars, paying election day workers at a higher rate than authorized with public money. In a written statement, Morell said he followed the same guidelines as clerks prior to him, saying the pay scale we use today is the same pay scale that existed before I took office over 10 years ago. As a defense attorney, slap it is not a defense. And we've seen enough of that around here with the corruption that was going on. But the problem that he's going to have is it's all documented and it's state money, it's maybe public money in, in some areas as well. And I, I think that what you're looking at is a, a very dangerous situation for him. It's very clear, you know, what the law says and what the rules are, and, and you, either, you either follow them or you, you face the consequences for not following them. Um, and it appears at this point that he's going to face the consequences. In a written statement, Morell says the clerk of criminal courts office has been audited every year since 2006 pursuant to state law, and there were no questions concerning the audits. This office will incorporate suggestions and recommendations of the legislative auditor's office in our policies as well as in future audits that